welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Emma and today we are going to talk about something that's a little hard for me to talk about and it is why I'm unemployed. To start off with, I am not very good at jobs. <laughs> I mean I am good at jobs but I have difficulties because I have certain disabilities that I will get into later that make it hard for me to work. When I was younger, like early 20s, I'm in my late 20s right now, but yeah, when I was in my early 20s, I was fired from every single job that I had because I just couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't remember things. I wasn't good enough at cleaning and there were just so many reasons. I, I even got told that I was being rude to a customer once when I was standing up for her. So the situation was she had blue hair and there was a couple, older couple, and they were harassing her for it. And I stood up for her and I guess they complained and said I was being rude. I also had a manager who didn't like me and I don't know why she didn't like me. She was always very mean to me. And I discovered later on that she was telling lies about me behind my back, which I think may have contributed to why I got fired from that job, but hard to say. So then after that, I got into another field, a teaching, uh, not like teaching in a school, but preschool teaching. And I started leaving jobs if I thought that there was even a chance that I could get fired because I didn't want another, oh yeah, I got fired from that job on my resume. So if I suspected that things were going south, I would bail. I would just bail. That was a big problem. Employers like to see that you've been able to keep a job for a long time. They don't want to see that you're constantly bouncing around from job to job to job and it's been so difficult. I really would rather be my own boss. Either make YouTube my career or start my own business. I do want to start a hijab company but that's going to take a little while to start simply because I want to be an ethical company and I don't want to buy my hijabs from overseas. I want to make them myself with eco-friendly and sustainable fabrics, but we'll, we can get into that another time. I've always loved teaching kids. It's always been so much fun for me. And I managed to land a job at a great preschool and everything was going smoothly. There was a slight hitch and I got moved from one center to the other center of theirs because they just thought I wasn't the best fit with the older kids and they thought that I would be a better fit with the younger ones. So that's when I started getting slightly afraid. I was like, wait a second, do they not want me here? And so then it happened, COVID-19. I got laid off and that was really rough. That was a rough time because suddenly I didn't have income anymore. I was relying solely on my husband to provide for the family. And I know, yes, in Islam, the husband is the provider and the protector, but it's also nice to have your own money in case stuff goes south. And like, like I mean, like what if he died? What if he died, right? I, I wouldn't have any way of making income, of making, I would have the money that we had before and the money we have in savings, but what happens when that runs out? I've got nothing. So having a job or having some sort of income coming in is important. So then they said that they were going to start rehiring and I didn't get rehired. I did not get rehired, but luckily I was able to continue claiming unemployment. Now earlier I had said that I have some disabilities and I'll get into them right now. The main disability that I have is epilepsy. 
I have a seizure disorder and I've had it since 2006 when I was in the sixth grade. So for those of you who maybe aren't from the United States, that was when I was around 12, 13 years old. When I was 17, I had a series of three seizures that severely impacted my memory. I have a very hard time remembering sequences, remembering, so if somebody says, okay, I need you to do X, Y, and Z, I might remember to do X, and I might remember to do Z, but I won't remember to do Y, and then people will get frustrated. Or you'll have X, Y, and Z, I'll get all of them done, but say Z has several steps that needs to be followed, and you know, Z has one, two, three, four, and I remember to do one, three, four, but I forgot two, and now Z didn't even get completed fully, so people get really frustrated with that, and you know, there's reasonable accommodation, but when I explain every single thing needs to be written out, People aren't very impressed or excited to be able to do that. I've never had a job that has done that for me. So that's been very difficult. And it's one of the reasons why I'm not really able to succeed with jobs because I have that disability. My other disability is I have depression and anxiety. Now I have generalized anxiety and social anxiety. And I also have a major depressive disorder and a psychotic disorder. So I've got a lot of stuff going on. And you might be freaking out about the psychotic disorder, but basically what happened was I, I was afraid that people were poisoning my food. I was hearing things, like things were not going well. And that is completely under control now. That is not a worry anymore the psychotic issues, but the depression and the anxiety definitely are, and they definitely impact my day-to-day -day functioning. So you might be saying, well, why don't you just get on disability? Well, I've been trying to do that, and that has been a journey. There's a whole process of stuff you have to do, and I'll kind of get into that in a second, but essentially I did the first step, got denied. <laughs> I appealed, got denied, and now I'm going to be going into a hearing. So if you want to find out what happens during the hearing, here's my Instagram right here. I will post on there about it. I probably won't post a video on here straight away about it. I might, but Instagram's your best bet. So my hearing is going to be this month. I've been having some struggles with my lawyers who aren't sure they want me to have the hearing this month. They're thinking I should reschedule for six months down the line. And I'm like, ah, I just want to do it. So things are a little tough. The process for disability is essentially you apply. That's the first step. See what they say. What they told me is they thought that there were certain jobs that I could still reasonably do. So no, you don't get disability. So I said, well, actually, and I applied. Well, I didn't apply. I appealed. So first you apply. If you get denied, you appeal. So I appealed. And they said, mm, still no. So I got a lawyer and I moved on to step three, and that is the hearing. So I'm going to have the hearing now. Uh, not like this very second, but I'm gonna have the hearing and then if I get denied after that the fourth step is you present it to I don't remember what they're called. It's it's some like board or committee or something this group of people and They get to decide you appeal to them and then they get to decide and if they say no You have to start it all over again from the very beginning. So we're gonna see what happens. I'm quite distraught because I, you know, I want to make YouTube my full-time job, but 
it takes a while to get there. It takes a while to get the subscribers. I'm over halfway there for subscribers, but nowhere near the watch hours. So it's difficult. I have no idea when I'll be able to get monetized, if I get monetized on this channel. And if I can even make that a full-time job. And then there's my business that I want to do, but I don't know when I'll be able to even start that. And it's just, it's just so hard. It's just so hard. I want to be able to be independent and I, I want to be able to bring in money on my own. Do you know what I mean? So I think probably a lot of you are wondering, am I ever going to work again? And that's a bit complicated. So first of all, I told you about the, di the disabilities that I have and all of that and why it's very hard for me to work if I can work at all. It's the issue that I don't have a bachelor's degree. I wasn't able to finish college and I'm actually going to get into that in a another video so look forward to that one i'm going to get into why i don't have a college degree because i don't have that jobs are very limited and there's only certain things i can do such as preschool and that's why i got into the preschool field originally because people didn't mind that you didn't have a bachelor's degree now one of the things that i've always wanted to do is be a librarian but unfortunately at least in the u.s you have to have it a master's degree in library science to be able to do that so I don't even know if that's going to be possible for me because school is so tough because of my memory issues and I don't know if I can go to school I don't know if it's worth trying again it's it's I don't know I would love to go back to school but I just don't think it's possible I have thought about doing volunteer work to fill my time, but honestly, I think I would get kicked out of volunteer work too. It's just a thing, a big thing. And I really wish I could work. Like you don't even understand how badly I want to be able to work and bring in money and stuff like that and support be able to help support the family but I can't and so I'm gonna work my butt off on YouTube I'm gonna try and get my business started my hijab company started I had a video when I was doing my Kickstarter that failed miserably so I'm gonna have to start from zero and Luckily, I have I was gifted a sewing machine. Hopefully I can be gifted a serger. That would be really nice and then I could really be on my way and get get some of the more expensive things out of the way and start up. Now, the issue is I live in a one bedroom apartment and there we have a desk, but it is in the living room and that's where my husband works. So I have nowhere nowhere for my sewing machine so I can't even sew I can't I can't do it I can't even attempt to start my business and I'm not ordering bulk fabric like pre-made hijabs from somewhere else and trying to sell them that's I'm not about that I want these to be handmade by me with eco-friendly sustainable fabrics and it's just so important to me so hopefully i'll be able to get that started soon and when i do i'll bring you guys along for the journey i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up likes really help my channel and if you aren't subscribed please subscribe and join the family so you can see more videos like this on Mondays I do Islamic content and on Wednesdays I do lifestyle videos. So go ahead and subscribe to see more of the same. Alright, have a great day. Bye!